Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we're dealing with Betsy, the 1996 T4, uh, she's an auto sleeper trophy conversion and she's got a problem. If you're new to the channel, uh, to the garage is about all manner of things that we do in and around the garage. I have a huge bias towards Jaguars, particularly the XK8, but I'm also a lover of Volkswagen camper vans and anything automotive is fun to get involved with. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Betsy's got a bit of an issue at the moment and that is that there's a problem with the clutch. So um, the clutch doesn't feel like um, it's in the best condition at any times. In fact, the bike position is quite near the floor. It's in the last sort of inch of travel. And it's quite a long travel. And um, whilst that's tolerable, lately, if you hold the clutch for any amount of time, it slowly starts to bite even with your foot on the floor. Now that could be one of three or four things. It could be a kind of known issue with the Volkswagen T4s of this era, and that is a break in the pedal to um, master cylinder bracketry. And basically, things fatigue and the bracket that holds the um, master cylinder relative to the pedal underneath the dashboard starts to move and twitch and possibly even break and you don't get the full movement you should have. That appears to be okay on this. It could be literally just the clutch is worn out. Uh, we've run out of friction material or the um, pressure disc is starting to uh, fail. The fingers are getting weak. But the fact that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, doesn't lend itself to that. The two more lightly elements that are going on, and I'm going to investigate one of them today, is it's a hydraulic system and it could need bleeding. Uh, it may have air in it. The, the fluid may be contaminated. It absorbed lots of moisture, all sorts of things on that sort of element. And that's where I'm hoping I'm going to find most of my issue. Or it could be that the master cylinder or slave cylinder have bad seals in them and the fluid is leaking past them whilst you're holding your foot on the clutch and slowly releasing the clutch pedal. So we're going to do a bit of investigation and see what we find. Betsy is a 1996 2.4 litre diesel. It's the AAB engine. So this is a straight five non-turbocharged diesel. It's about 70 odd horsepower, not very powerful, but very torquey and very reliable as a rule. Um, and it has a hydraulic clutch and the pipe work for that hydraulic clutch is here. Hard pipes goes up and along and just here just probably out of your shot at the moment is a bleed valve there it is it's got a little bit of a boot on the top come on off there we go um, and that then if we follow it along goes down through this through a flexi hose which can again be a source of problems if they really degrade they just expand rather than allowing the fluid to go down and then as you look further in you should be able to see here's a slave cylinder with one pipe going into it and again a bleed nipple but because of the situation with the pipe work, it's not the high point, so not the best place to bleed it from. And that actuates a clutch. Everything looks quite dry. Not like we've got leaks. And there's nothing dri dripping from underneath. The brake and clutch fluid are combined in this single reservoir. There's the 
clutch pedal. And there's the master cylinder. So it exits with a hard pipe. Actually, I think you can see like a brake union. And it enters through that very hard to put a film. Braided hose, flexible hose up above. If you can't really see that, because I can't either. So I'm hoping I can bleed it from there yeah. and get the clutch back. So, what's the level like? Looks up. Right. Right to the top. A little filter in there. Okay, so we've put an easy bleed kit on with a pressure from my compressor. This is full of liquid, and the easy bleed's got an, a cap that places the reservoir's cap and is now pushing fluid into here. We've got a pipe on the uh, bleed nipple and a spanner. And the pipes go into a receptacle. So what I'm going to do now is just push through some fluid and see what happens. We will do if I can undo it. And there's the fluid coming out. And a few small air bubbles, which is good news. There's the fluid starting to come out down there. You can see the state of it, it's black. So that's absorbed some rubbish. And let's lock it up there. Right. I'm just going to go and test the pedal whilst the pressure is still on. Now it feels like a good pedal. So we'll do a little so experiment. So following what initially felt like a much better pedal 15 minute test drive back to normal. So that didn't work, just bleeding the system. But I learned a few things and that led me to another conclusion. So the first thing is that the oil that came out, the fluid that came out was black. And really, really dirty fluid does tend to be the sign of a bad master cylinder. Now a master cylinder is one of these. I've already swapped it. And it's a syringe that you push with your clutch pedal and forces fluid out of this hole, which goes to the slave cylinder. So master gives command, slave responds. Um, and it's fed with this pipe, which is just a push on rubber hose. And that puts fluid in from your brake fluid reservoir. And really dirty fluid like I had is generally a sign of a bad master cylinder as that fluid can only get dirty from liquid coming back up this pipe. Um, so I'm hoping that this is broken down. I have swapped it. I swapped it off camera because access is so bad uh, where my head is is where the camera would need to be but I can still talk you through it and explain it and uh, see what you think. Not tested anything yet Let's go and have a look. This is the old one, original equipment. That says VW on it. So I know it's at least as old as the van. So 26 years old, maybe. And the one that's on is a reproduction from Just Campers with about 30 pounds. So if you're gonna do this job yourself, first tip, put a piece of polythene over this neck and a cable tie around it so that it makes it harder for the fluid level to drop and then put a 
um, hydraulic clamp, I've still got mine in place here, on this rubber hose. It's got a bit of braiding on, but it's just a rubber hose, so you can get it off. I only ever use these on soft pipes, not on uh, copper pipes, because obviously you'll deform the pipe and it won't come back. So that has basically stopped the fluid keep topping up and just spilling into the interior while I got the master cylinder off. Then take the seat out and get yourself some rags or cushion to put on here because that's rather pointy. And take off the fuse box cover just because it gives you a bit better access. Then the procedure is as follows. Unhook this spring on the clutch pedal. Next, there is a spring clip on the other end of this pin, which is attached to your master cylinder. It's on this side. Slide that off by pulling it this way. Um, and that allows you to tap the pin back and the pin comes out this way, thus releasing this end. Then you've got this nut here is the actual hydraulic pipe. Slacken that off and undo these two. Undo the pipe completely and you should be able to wriggle that out. Can improve access even further by taking the entire clutch pedal off. And on this side of the pedal, near the top obviously, is another clip which you can slide off and then it allows the pedal to be pushed off that way. It's very hard to see, you'd have to do it entirely by feel and if like me you manage to lose the clip because it flew off, um, you have to use a circlip to refit it. Okay so unlike previously when I just um, let in a bit of air out maybe and could do all the bleeding through here, because now I've opened the system properly, I'll have to do a full bleed. So I'm going to start by opening the bleed nipple down on the slave cylinder, right down there. I'm going to put a rubber hose on it, put my pressure kit on here, and push some fluid all the way through the entire system. Then I'll close that one off and do any final little bits of bleeding from up here. We're all set up with pressure. Uh, if you've never seen one before, that's a correct tool for um, doing brake bleeding. It's an attempt to make a ring spanner, but with a gap for the pipe to go through, so you can pop it over the pipe. Um, I believe it's known as a brake bleeding spanner, but could be wrong. So we've got the hose, sorry, a uh, length of pipe on the bleed nipple. We've got the spanner on. We've got this on. All we need to do now is add a little bit of air. Ah, inky black coming out of there. So I'll just keep opening up the valve a bit more until we get rid of all of that. And that feels an entirely different pedal. Feels like it's got action all the way from the top to the bottom, whereas previously it got firmer towards the bottom. So, test drive is the only way to test.